Hello everyone, uh, this is Liam Moa and he plays Albert in The Midnight Bell. Hello everybody, this is Andy and he plays Frank in The Midnight Bell. Our stepping back into the studio on day one was quite overwhelming really, I think after having such a long time off um, and I think all of us had kind of reset and um, kind of reprogrammed in a way and so I felt like the energy was just amazing especially back on the first day and it was just so lovely to see everybody again and just to have that real amazing feeling of being back in the studio and creating something completely brand new. So the creative process for a new show uh, with us, I think is probably quite unique to this company just because of the kind of rep that we do here. Um, so we started with some workshops in April mm -hmm. um, where we kind of just explore some tasks that Matt sets out, some really early research um, and we kind of just see what happens in the studio in a really low pressured environment. Our particular characters, Albert and Frank, actually don't exist in the Patrick Hamilton novels um, Matt's actually wrote them um, specifically for this production, so they're brand new, so you wouldn't have seen them before. And that's been really cool to kind of draw our own plot, really. I think we tried to bring in uh, themes that Hamilton uses a lot in his writing, so whether that's loneliness or the dependency on alcohol or kind of self-loathing, all really jolly stuff. Uh, <laughs> to kind of bring in our motivation with our characters as well. So it's like, okay, why do they depend on the drink so much? And then it's trying to find that out. So that's been mm -hmm. really good for us to try and come in with that. It's really nice for us to dance together because we don't get to normally dance together. Um, yeah. So that's been a real treat. That has uh, been nice. Uh, it's been lovely, so yeah. My favourite parts of the rehearsal process is definitely getting to work on like duet material or solo stuff that's really story led. Um, I think that's what makes this company so brilliant is the depth of stories that we try to create and it's so integral to what uh, goes into the movement and what you're trying to say. So we just actually did a really nice session which was uh, all about the end of Act 1 and kind of like who has the power and who has the initiative and um, who drives it and who tries to pull away and trying to find that dynamic between the two of us has been really fantastic. We're now at a place where you're starting to see a lot more depth and people like layering mm. their characters mm -hmm. and and I guess, you know, researching for a piece, I think obviously it's based in the 20s, 30s and especially looking um, at homosexual characters of that time, like there's not a huge amount of history but yeah. the stories and the, the research that we did find was um, really quite fascinating and just kind of diving into that more um, you know we read books such as Queer London and Queer City and I looked at characters such as like Quentin Crisp and it's not so much directly drawn from that but it's amazing to, to see characters of that time and how, how, how it was for them back then how, it, how they held themselves, where they went, who they spoke to um, what their whole history was, so that's that's been really interesting to like yeah. dive into. And the challenge of that is then trying to bring all of that research that you do into the studio, how can I make it relevant to the character that I'm mm -hmm. doing or the relationship that I'm trying to portray, what's really good that would be really visual for an audience, because obviously we don't speak, so you have to try and do everything through mm -hmm. movement. So it's really great, particularly with things like film, you were talking about Quentin Crisp, like the mannerisms and stuff, or can I take that, can I take that, and kind of morph it into my personality on stage. Yeah, obviously we've all been so lucky to create something brand new and, and these are characters that you've read, are familiar with Patrick Hamilton's uh, novels, um, but it's been reworked in such an exciting new way. Um, and I just, I think, especially after this time that we've all been through, It'll be so nice for audiences to come and just get lost in, in a great story, um, a dark story I would say, mm -hmm. um, but just to kind of lose your normal sense for at least two hours and I just think it'll be really amazing and come and watch us.